Well, normally I wouldn't be addressing this game, and, but as I have once again continued to learn, normalcy has become an increasing rarity. Hello everyone, and welcome to my thoughts and concerns on Dragon Quest Monsters of Dark Prince, and it's coming to Nintendo Switch this December. So, let's begin. First, I'd like to say that despite my preferences on Clay's showing, I believe there's room for more than one uh, game in the genre, as I have a long time. But there's only so much room in a given time frame, which I'll be addressing later. Hitter. And... I also know that in specific sphere, it's odd, given how... how, at best, everyone else that's... In the same sphere as like the biggest multi unit friend as ever is gunning for a second, and at worst it's very niche. But it's kind of weird given how there's room for Mario and Sonic, room for Zelda Horizon, and most of Mortal Kombat, among others. So. The Dark Prince in question is Sorrow, a the villain of the fourth main Dragon Quest game and a fan favorite character, Momeni. And all design decisions surrounding him and how he tames monsters favoring fusion or breeding do make sense at least on paper but that said it does also should bring me to my other concerns i got well, dragon quest as the main series may be niche here in the states compared to how big it is in japan dq monsters even more so as i mentioned, mentioned earlier in this video oh even in Japan, it's been a while since it's been a new storm because like a lot of the other ones on 3DS apparently didn't sell too well. Hell, and met with mixed reception among those I talked to researching this. I mean, that's mean. So we've also got oh, the obvious fact that the last, last game, the spin-off series, came out a while ago. And the last universally well seed one, even longer, is the first hurdle. Mm. Connected to who that issue is also going to be competition because even though it means to be seen how well it's going to, this recent PC port would do last year around the same time that this game Slave War Dragon Quest Treasures, there's a triple win in competition not just from these games but also God of War Ragnarok launching right beforehand, all the which managed to garner significantly more hype, attention, and sales. So which definitely brings me to the big one I've got, man. Of the game of competition for or the games for this game on December launch late. In the same time frame as this game, we have an absurd amount of competition, which will include, but not limited to, who some of the following games. Games, they are. Marvel Spider-Man 2, Super Mario Wonder, Sonic Superstars, the Super Mario RPG remake, Metal Gear Solid Mass Collection Volume 1, Alan and Wake 2, Spider-Man 2 on PS5. I hate the first one was excellent. Tetra Pizza Returns, Returns, and even some wild cards. Hurts in the mix as well. So there's Avatar Frontiers Bandora and the Switch Port Hogwarts Legacy, even as infamous as that game is. Is mean, as I just stated, had Treasures was up against a stiff competition last year. Her Dark Prince looks even up against even more stiff competition, and this year. Mm -hmm. And there's also Square Enix itself, and how a lot of their decisions have not been that well received in the slightest. I mean, I just mean, even when they do release a game that's well received. He, they just can't seem to go at least one month without having some kind of have headline that gives them bad attention, and which includes that being something they've done as business quite shady or another title that hasn't been as well received. I mean, and in some cases both. I mean, which also. I don't want to say also having an adverse effect on their better CU titles. I mean, apparently life service endeavors have lost them so much money that I mean, that if they hadn't 
tried to chase that rabbit, it would have made a profit on titles such as people actually wanted to play this, such as Final Fantasy VII R. And so, and all these factors and others that I have not mentioned, but others have, definitely present an interesting puzzle for the Dark Prince. How will it do? I cannot say for certain, and especially given how what I've been shown so far is not really selling me, and beyond that, I haven't been shown a whole lot, I mean, which is another one of the closing items because I'm not really promoting it that much. I mean, there was a brief glimpse during the most recent direct this past June, but not a whole lot else. All I'm saying is, is while it's not impossible that this title is going to who have an audience here. I mean, it's highly unlikely it'll get anything real niche. I mean, completely realistic here. But then again, I've been caught off guard before, as ha as I had with this Barbin hireman's going to be dropping this weekend, and I have been contributing towards. So, anyway. Here we are for now. Now that I've got my ticket, I'll see you tomorrow with my look at Christopher Nolan's Oppenheimer. That'll be all for now. Take care, everyone. Mm-hmm.